Hi, I'm Chef Joe with Healthy Kids Inc. and today we're going to be making a zucchini quiche. So the first thing that we want to do, we have a pie crust that we need to pre-bake in the oven. So we have our oven preheating to 450 degrees. And we're going to go ahead and pop it in. And this is going to bake for about 10 to 12 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. All right, so we have that set. We also have a large saute pan here heating up with a little bit of oil in it. I'm going to bring it up to about medium heat. While that's working away, we have a large bowl here. We need to combine some ingredients. We have some milk. All right, we have our milk. We have three eggs. We have Gruyere cheese and flour. Whisk these together. Just until they're nice and combined. Also have a pinch of salt. Some fresh cracked black pepper and the Gruyere cheese. I'm going to go ahead and go in with our onions into the saute pan. And our zucchini. Pinch of salt. Fresh cracked black pepper. Okay, we're going to allow this to saute for a few minutes. We'll add the garlic in near the very end. And this will be the filling for our quiche. Okay, we're ready to add our garlic in. couple more minutes on this. I'm actually going to set this off of the heat and allow it to cool because if we add it to the eggs now what will happen is we'll begin cooking the eggs and they will curdle before we are ready for them to start to uh, coagulate together. So we're going to let this cool before we combine it into our egg, flour, milk and cheese mixture and that will give us just enough time to let this crust continue to brown. All right, we're now ready to pull our crust. All right, so we want to let our crust rest just for a couple minutes before we add anything else to it. All right, so the next step is now that our zucchini and onion and garlic uh, mixture has cooled, we're going to put it into our pie crust now. I'm going to spoon this mixture in. All right, and just make sure you have an even layer inside of your pie filling. Once you do that, the next step is to pour your egg mixture over the top. I'm going to take some of our fresh herbs that we have chopped, scatter those right in the egg mixture to really get some of it incorporated into the quiche. I'm just going to pour this right over the top. Right, 
we want to just take your spoon, just kind of make sure that the egg mixture distributes evenly. You can kind of pull it to the outside a little bit. We've reduced our heat in the oven to 375 degrees now. And we're going to bake this until the egg sets, which is going to be about 30 minutes or so. Uh, and the way to test that, we're going to insert a knife into the center and pull it out when it comes out clean. That's how we know that it is ready to go. All right, we're now ready to pull our quiche from the oven. We want to test this. We want to take a knife, insert it into the center. It comes out clean, which it has. It is good to go. All right, at this point, all that's left to do is to let this cool. Uh, then we'll plate it up and we'll show you the finished product in just a few minutes.